Assembly of the foaming dry pot. Components required: two small seed bar, one medium plate, two DC motor, four grids, and two small shaft. At first, we will take two small seed bar and a medium plate. Attach the seed bar to the medium plate. In this way, such that the four hole of the seed bar is connected to the first hole of the medium plate. Two holes should be at the front and three holes should be at the back. Now take two DC motors. We need to connect the DC motors to the seed bars. Connect the shaft of the motor on the first hole of the seed bar in this way. Similarly, connect the other motor. Now take two wheels, attach the wheels to the shaft of the motors and fix it using axle lever. Take the metal shaft, insert the metal shaft in the C bar in this way and fix the other end using an axle. Now take two wheels, attach the wheel to the metal shaft in this way and fix it using axle lock. After the assembly of the four wheel drive, now we will show you the demo. The two motors of the four wheel drive is connected to port M1 and M2 of the controller. We have turned on the controller. Click on get started. Select JB1 V2. Select your board. Select four wheel board. Click on the connection diagram. As you can see, the motors are connected to M1 and M2 port of the controller. Now go back. Click on next, click on connect to Bluetooth and select HC05. It's showing connected, that means the controller is now connected to our phone. With the help of this four button, we can move our board forward, backward, right and left. When I press the forward button, our board is moving forward. When I press the backward button, our board is moving backward. And with the right and left, it moves in the right and left direction. Thank you.